Hank, I'm a Michigan Wolverine alum. Uh, oh, Co- Coach Harbaugh uh, invited me to be the honorary captain week two against Central Florida back in September, and you, just a couple of weeks ago, did it for Michigan against the uh, Fighting Illini. Uh, how That's did, right. How did you uh, how you find that experience with Coach Harbaugh? Uh, I, I, I've been involved in a lot of things, but when the coach offered me that. Uh, when he came here to, to work out a couple of ball players and he offered me to go, I, I said, I got to go. And, I, you know, I have a granddaughter there, of course, and she, she's a student at Michigan. Okay. And uh, so when she heard about it, she, the first thing she said, Papa, you got to go. Well, when she said that, that's all she needed to say. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I, was, I was thrilled. I really was thrilled. I, I, uh, the, 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 Coach Harbach. I watched him play against his brother in the all, in the in the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and uh, then I got a chance to meet his mother and and his father, uh, and I got a chance to speak to the football team. Oh, what well, you? I got a chance to speak to the baseball team, so I had a good day. I met some wonderful athletes, and the coach was the school was excellent. I, I enjoyed it. And that's the first time I've ever done anything like that, and I, I just, I felt ecstatic. I what? felt really proud of myself. I felt like, out of all the baseball things that have been at my fingertips, but just doing this in a football field and flipping a coin uh, was the greatest thrill of my life. Did you? Uh, were you a rah-rah speech? You give a little, you know, go out there and get them. I mean, what sort of speech well, did you, you give? You know, I'm not, I'm not a rah-rah guy, but what mm-hmm. I did tell them. I just told them that, um, in essence, most of them, I told them, I said, boys, I said, you're playing at the greatest school in the world. You're going to get the greatest education in the world. I said, but you got to remember one thing, that there is no shortcut in life. That's what I try to tell them. Mm-hmm. I try to make sure they understand that regardless of what education and what they do, that they still got to take one step at a time. And that's what I try to tell most of the kids, young kids, because most of them, like my kids, you know, my grandkids, you know, they were born today and wanted to be tomorrow. They want to be the star, you know, and that don't happen that way, you know. Mm-hmm. I said, when I started playing baseball, I started in class C ball, D ball, and that that's where you and that's what you do in life. Life is that way. So, and they stood there. I mean, they sat there, and they really paid attention. And I'm sure that. Uh, if I, if I got through to one or two of them, it was the greatest thrill of my life. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.